Beyond a fungicide application, what else can I do to help control disease? Well, to me, it all starts back in the fall when we analyze what happened last year. If I'm gonna try and do corn on corn, I wanna understand what diseases were present in my corn crop last year. I want to then pick a hybrid that is resistant to the disease that I'm, I'm specifically targeting. Say like gray leaf spot. I knew that I had gray leaf spot last year. Um, I'm planting corn on corn, so I have the host. I have the disease, I knew I had gray leaf spot there last year. Now all I need is the environment and I could have a really bad scenario. So what can I do there? I can try and pick a hybrid that is resistant to gray leaf spot. Uh, we can go to our books, our books uh, for corn hybrid selection and go through there and look, is it resistant to gray leaf spot? And if it is, uh, I might be able to go with that hybrid. And we can do that with a whole host of diseases like northern corn leaf blight, southern rust, etc. So I would do I would start with hybrid selection as one of the, the tactics. A second tactic might be row spacing. You know, going from a narrow row, uh, narrow rows trap more moisture and humidity. And in some instances with a disease that, that thrive in that environment, if we can open up that row, we can have better, better airflow through there and maybe not have disease development. Another way, we could have some residue management. Some way to get that residue off of that cornfield, whether it be through baling of the stalks or maybe even a moldboard plow where we can bury that disease inoculum. Then when we come out there, we level that field and we don't have that disease really, really close to our corn. So those are some tactics that we can do over and above a fungicide application that can help us manage disease appropriately in our fields.